Hello, people of the internet. I have not made a video in so long. I never even imagined I would be making a video of this kind before. I wanted to talk to people about trusting God when you're in the middle of all the hurt and the fear and everything. You know, there's a lot of stuff that is going on right now in the world. It's really started to affect me uh, as well. And it's the kind of thing that you don't really believe all of it until until it hits you personally. It's been a really difficult week. I had to go home for two weeks unpaid. That's definitely a huge challenge. I kind of started having a, a really big crush on someone and they they, they broke my heart a little. <laughs> I haven't been able to see my friends. I'm sure that's something that everyone here is dealing with right now, along with, uh, you know, not being able to go to work. I haven't been able to play music with my band, and uh, anyone who knows me knows that music is like a huge part of my life. But something that has become uh, also an even bigger part of my life is my relationship with, with God and Jesus Christ, and uh, that, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. In Exodus chapter 14, you know, the Israelites are finally out of Egypt, they're, but they're heading towards the Red Sea. The Israelites are saying, oh no, why did you bring us here? The Egyptians are just going to get us again when they see the Egyptians coming after them. And then what does God do? He, he works through Moses and he parts the sea and sets up a barrier between the Israelites and the Egyptians. And so they're able to safely cross. But the part I want to talk about and really look at is how they have to actually still walk through the sea. He's definitely made the journey easier, but it's not over yet. Fast forward, they've been in the desert for, what, some... 40 years in Joshua chapter 3. They finally get to the river and you can only imagine how incredibly impatient the Israelites are to just get to the promised land already. You know, they've been wandering through the desert for, well, like ever. <laughs> then God says, wait three days. So here it is, it's in plain sight. They have to sit and wait again. The craziest part is they actually have to step into the river. Verse 8, it says, Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan's waters, go and stand in the river. Then God, at that point, works through Joshua and stops the water so that now they can safely pass through. What's really interesting about this is that he didn't just part the water for them and say, okay, go right away like he did in the initial exodus. They actually had to wait. So this really speaks to me right now because, yeah, I, I'm definitely hurting right now. Just as I'm sure there's a lot of other people who are hurting or afraid about what's going on in the world. God is still seeing me through this. He's still seeing you through this. In Psalm 28, verses 1 and 2, To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. In verse 6 it picks up, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Guys, this is really meaningful because it shows that God is actually there for us all the time and we can go to him with our very human emotions. The Psalms are all about our humanity and having that human relationship with God. We we struggle, we suffer, we cry out to him. It's it's okay to go to God and say, "Look, this sucks right now." And you know, I had to go to him multiple times this week and say, "Why?" Why now? Why Why this? Why me? We can go to him in our trials and we can still trust in him because he will help us get through. Just like he helped the Israelites cross through the, the sea, just like he helped them cross the Jordan. But first, they had to step in and be patient. I can testify that God is there for me right now, even in the middle of all of this. I trust him completely. 
he will get me through this. From one hurt person to another, God is watching out for us, and he will be my strength and my shield. Thanks.